I'm showing you how to get Worst Client for 1.20.6. To download Worst, you want to head over to their official website, worstclient.net. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here in this page, you want to scroll down a little until you find the downloads area, where at the very top, we're going to see the Minecraft 1.20.6 download. To download it, you want to simply click on this black button, and that's automatically going to download Verse Client. Now, very importantly, also click on this white Fabric API button. You need that to be able to run the mod. Here are my downloads, as you can see, we now have the Fabric API as well as Worst Client, which is great. As you've probably kind of already been able to guess by the fact that we had to download the Fabric API, you do need Fabric for 1.20.6 installed to be able to use this. Anyways, if you don't actually have that or you're not sure where to get it, I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, we can continue now and put these mods in the correct place. So press on Windows and R at the same time, then type in a percentage sign, app data, and then another percentage sign, just like so. Then you can hit enter or click on OK and this folder or this folder right here should open up. Either way, you want to make sure you're in the roaming folder. Then go into .minecraft, you might need to scroll down a little and then you find the mods folder. In here, you simply want to drag both of these just like so. Anyways, if you don't actually have a mods folder, then you should be fine just right clicking and creating one. Do just make sure that you have Fabric installed and that you don't accidentally give the folder a capital letter. Anyways, now we can close both of these and open up the Minecraft launcher. Here in the Minecraft launcher, you want to make sure you have the Fabric loader for 1.20.6 selected. If you do, you can click on play. Now as you can see, we have Minecraft Fabric for 1.20.6 loaded up. I'll quickly head into a world and show you how to use this. Now really quickly, before I do get into the full tutorial, um, there is actually a complete in-depth tutorial on how to use Verse Client that is going to be linked down in the description below. Right now, I'm basically just going to show you how to get started. So here in Minecraft, you might already notice some things on your screen. If you don't, you might be fine either way. You should be able to press on the right shift button and that is going to open up the click GUI. If that opens up, you know that the mod is working correctly. Anyways, right over here, this is the main place where we have all of our stuff basically. They're all sorted alphabetically and all these little modules over here are basically the utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on and then click on them once again to turn them off. Off the list on the left and now as you can see we have we are getting an automatic list of all of the utilities that we do have enabled over there. Anyways, basically for these modules, you can hover above them and you'll get a little bit of a description as you can see. You can also actually click on this green arrow and then as you can see, you'll get a little bit of a customization menu for that specific utility. In this case, it's the aim assist. As you can see, this has a few settings um, or quite a lot of them actually. And at the bottom of each of these, it actually allows you to set a key bind. Right, you can click on escape and you'll close out of there. And as you can see, some of them do have more customization than others. Anyways, those are basically the utilities. If you scroll down a little to the very bottom, you'll see that it starts again by alphabet, um, just for a few of these. And these are basically kind of a different type of utilities. So here you'll find stuff that can show up on your screen. For example, the verse logo, um, you'll find a list of your keybinds, the tab GUI, all of this stuff like that, and stuff like the x-ray as well as zoom, right? So I guess more utility like things. Anyways, um, moving on the worst logo over here, which you can see up there is one of those things that can show up on your screen. If you'd like to turn it off, you can simply change that to only when outdated. And now as you can see, the worst logo has disappeared. We can do the same thing with the tab GUI over there, but first I'll quickly show you how to use it. Basically what the tab GUI is on the left is it allows you to navigate the GUI area with your arrow keys on your keyboard. Um, some people like it, some people don't. I'm not a huge fan. Um, so what I can do is I can just go ahead and turn that off if I do wish to do so. There we go. Now my screen is completely clean. However, I can still access the menu as you can see. 
For the rest, if you scroll up a little from here, you'll see a bunch of these things starting with a dot. And these are basically all the commands that the worst client has. These are all the ones with the dot in front of them. You can click on the green arrow of these and it'll tell you what the command does as well as how to use it, right? Um, and we can actually go into the chat over here, type in a dot. A dot is basically the prefix of commands for worst client. Just like in regular Minecraft, you would type a slash in for worst to type with a dot. I can type in um, a dot help and that is going to give me a list of all the commands that there are. If you're still not sure how to use a command, you can type in dot bind just like so and it'll tell you some additional information about the command, which as I said earlier, you can also get right over here. Anyways, lastly, on the escape menu over here, you'll see that you have a worst options menu. Here, you'll be able to find the links to worst um, your managers for all your keybinds. You have set up um, the x-ray as well as the zoom and then some general settings as well over here. Anyways, basically, um, that was that. If you do have any more questions, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Do, of course, remember that the in-depth tutorial is going to be linked down in the description as well. And uh, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.